What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Jess 2G. You can call me Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to revisit our last topic of the last video, how to split long scenes. But this time we're going to talk about doing it with caption stories. So, you know, there's basically two types of stories we see on Tumblr. The long form stories with, you know, the paragraphs and fewer pictures. That's what I showed you last time. And stories with pictures with captions on them. So, you know, I want to make sure I cover that as well. Even though the principles are the same, I think sometimes it might be harder to see when you have, you know, very, very short amount of text and more pictures and expressions. So I just want to show you how I apply those principles to my caption stories as well. So hopefully that'll help a lot of people out. So I have a few scenes I've already done. You've read them months ago. And I have about four of them prepared to talk about, and I'm gonna do as many as I have time for. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this one shorter than the last one. So we might not get through all four and we might, so, you know, whatever. Um, but I really wanna do all, all four of them because they all have different things I wanna point out. So before I get started with that, let's kind of review what we talked about last time. So I talked about how I read everything out loud so I can, you know, gauge my own reactions and also, you know, hear certain things, you know, to kind of give me a clue as to where I can break a scene. Also, another huge one was looking at your um, scenes like TV shows or made for TV movies and think about where to put the commercials in. That's going to be huge for these caption stories because they, they like they have to be short. Um, also, just thinking about the reader and what they're going through and what they might need from you as the writer in the story at that time. That's huge. That'll help you with everything you write, honestly. Um, I think I could do a whole series on just, you know, just thinking about the reader. But anyway, um, thinking about the reader, reading out loud, commercials, cliffhangers, you know, that kind of goes hand in hand with the whole commercial thing. So all of that, I do all of that with the caption stories. But there is another element that I do consider heavily with my caption stories, and that is the limitations that Tumblr puts on us. So Tumblr only allows us to do 10 pictures and a photo set. Um, what do I mean by photo set? So if I go to my dashboard and I click photo and I add photos here, what you're doing is creating a photo set, okay? Only 10 pictures can go in a photo set. So, um, okay, I'm in this folder. Let's just add 10 random. Man, these things are old. I love it. Let's add 10 random photos. Their first selfie. All right. Okay, so we're at 10. <clears throat> and as you can see, the add next picture button has disappeared. So that doesn't mean that you can't add more. You can, but there's just not gonna be a part of the photo set. Um, anything that you add underneath is gonna be considered text because it's technically in the body of text, you know, cause the, these photos are, can go in between text, you know, like you can't put text up here because it's a photo set. Um, that's important because, well, okay. If you're someone who only reads stories on the dashboard, it doesn't matter to you because you can click through the pictures and they'll show. It doesn't matter how many there are. That used to matter, but, you know, Tumblr made some changes. So it works now. You can click through all the pictures no matter how, no matter how many there are. But if you're someone who goes directly to people's blogs to read stories, this affects you. And, and people like you. So um, because I created these as a photo set, is, is, is this the last one? Is that the right? Yeah, okay, that's the right one. All right, um, this story has 11 or 12 photos in it. So even though I'm on my blog, you know, it's a photo set, 
this works on the blog, so I can click through, go through all of them. But once I get to the end, you know, I'm clicking. There's another picture after this, but it's not going to go to it because you can only do the photo sets. And then you go to the last picture and, you know, you can click on it all day and it won't work. So this has nothing to do with this video, but, you know, if if you're someone who has um, a story that has a lot of small text and you pretty much have to enlarge it to open to, to read it, there might be something for you to consider because, you know, Maybe after a certain point, people can't open them up depending on where they read from. So you have to consider the reader, you know. Like I said, it helps you with everything. <laughs> um, right, so adding pictures within the body of the post can help you do more than um, 10 posts. But, you know, I don't like to add that many more because, you know, I... I I'm always thinking about you guys who, who read and um, I'm someone who gets overwhelmed by a lot of content. That's why I don't follow a lot of people because I like to keep my dashboard kind of short. Like I'm not that type of person that loves to consume things. Like I, I need moments away. You know, I need peace and quiet. <laughs> you know, I can't follow 500 people and, and, and see all that stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's just not how my brain works. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I don't particularly enjoy very long posts myself because, you know, that that is overwhelming to me. So because I am that way, I like to consider that other people may be that way. So I don't want to overwhelm you guys with, you know, a bunch of long posts, even though my last few posts for adulting was extremely long. But that had to be done. That had to be done. Anyway, so... um. I am very conscious of the limitations and I try to use the limitations to my advantage. So oftentimes I craft the scenes around the limitations, but you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and go over. But you know, I don't go over that much. Like <clears throat> for me, 15 is like the max and anything after that, it, it just starts to get ridiculous. And it's like, okay, you know, you keep, Really? You couldn't break this up? You know, <laughs> that's just me. That's just me. So hopefully after you watch this video, you'll be confident to be able to break up those long scenes so you don't have to, you know, post like 25 pictures in a post. So because of limitations, my tip about seeing your story like a made for TV movie or um, or a TV show that's going to be huge because, you know, you have to break up those scenes. Like in the other video where I had a bunch of texts, that could have gone on for as long as I wanted it to. True, I don't like to overwhelm you guys, but, you know, I think there is a lot more freedom to make things long when you use words versus a bunch of pictures with text on them. So, you know, you have to break up these caption stories. It's just like, you know, having to put the commercial right there, you know, because the commercials have to go in somewhere. You just need to decide where. And caption stories are just like that. So hopefully you'll learn something or, you know, be inspired by something I say that will help you figure out how to uh, cut yours down. The scenes I have chosen for you to discuss this video are the ones from a few months ago with uh, Melanie and Nick having dinner with their families to tell them the news that they are leaving and moving across the country to Del Sol Valley after the wedding. Okay, so we're going to start with Nick and his family. And I'm not going to like read them word for word. I mean, like parts I will, but you know, I'm just going to kind of summarize and be silly and read them how I feel like they should be read. <laughs> right now. All right. So, uh, Nick and Melanie have just arrived and they're doing the whole hug thing. And mama is heckling him because he don't come home. She's like, Oh, I thought you forgot you had parents. <laughs> and Levi's like, leave that boy alone. Okay. So, you know, they're greeting. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. You know, <laughs> that's what this is. Let me get those coats. So they take their coats off and they come into the house and Nick is like, Oh, Mama, what's all this? Then we cut to what he's looking at and it's the whole spread. 
because, you know, they miss Harvest Fest because they were in Del Sol Valley. And mama's like, "Mm -mm -mm. you might have missed the holiday, but, you know, I'm your mama. You're my son. I'm always going to hook it up for you. So she made all his favorites for this dinner. And he's like, mama, you shouldn't have. She's like, hush, boy. (laughs) Nobody tells me what I do with my son. Come on in here and sit. (laughs) So, okay. This next part I'm going to say isn't in the post, but if you think about it, what happens next is um, somebody, probably Melanie, because she likes to be helpful. Somebody goes and gets the place. They set the table and then they all sit down. Then they all fix their plates and then they start to eat. Right. So that's what's happening in between these two scenes. And so there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, like, like you don't have to show, I mean, you could, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm a very lazy, uh, 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 storyteller. Like if I can't use the poses I already have, or, you know, I, I don't like downloading tons of CC. I hate accessories. You know, I don't want to do more than I already have to do to put a scene together. So, you know, like I try to make things work with the resources I already have. So, you know, I'm not doing all that, but you very well could show them, you know, like, like putting food on the plate and, you know, putting the plates down and, you know, that's great. I think that'll be a great way to end this scene to kind of round it out to make it a a smooth transition to the next thing, but that ain't me. So, um, but I say that to say, <clears throat> because you know that's what's happening next and there's not a whole lot going on, this is a perfectly good place to stop and go to the next scene. And that is exactly what I did. Now they're sitting at the table, they're talking, they're eating. Pretend they're eating <laughs> because, like I said, I can't be bothered with accessories. I don't want to find poses of them eating. And ugh. Hats off to every one of you who do you know, to make your scenes look more realistic, but mm -mm, that's just not me. Nope. Can't be bothered. Use your imagination. You're all intelligent people. (laughs) So all my dinner scenes, they never eat. They just talk (laughs) anyway. So, um, they're eating, they're talking. Everything's great. Um, Yvonne is like, you know, Melanie, you know, seem your usual self because, you know, Melanie's always happy and she seems kind of you know, a little bit muted today. And she's like, you know, what's up? Melanie's trying to, you know, play it all. She's like, oh, I'm tired. (laughs) Now she probably is tired because previous to this, goodness. Okay. So they got engaged like three to four months ago. So they're planning a wedding. Nick had his movie premiere. They travel to Simdania, which is like in Europe, Sim Europe um to go to a royal wedding wait was it a wedding i think so yeah a royal wedding um and then they probably had to go back to del sol valley at some point to meet with their their designer to you know show her the house so she can start drafting up some plan i mean they've been traveling a lot in a very short amount of time so she may be physically tired but that's not what she's worried about she, she's tired here because this dinner and then the dinner with her parents is wearing on her because melanie hates letting people down and um you know and this might sound like nonsense and not related to the video but it is related um i'll tell you why in a minute <laughs> so um She doesn't want to be disappointing, but she knows moving across the country will not be disappointing. Like, oh, I can't believe you did that. You know, like, like bad, but you know, like, oh, you're moving. No, you know, like she, she wants to keep everyone happy, but she just can't do it. So that's what she's talking about. But just, I'm sorry, I I should have these pictures enlarged. There we go. All right. So actually, let me go back. But just like we all do when we read each other's stories, as soon as a female sim who is with a male sim says she's tired or she's feeling sick, what do we all do? We assume she's pregnant. <laughs> like, like I hate that, but I do it too. <laughs> it's like, guys, why can't she just be sick or tired? Like, 
Sims get sick and tired without being pregnant, but you know, that's how it is. And that's what Yvonne is doing. She's like, oh, I remember I could barely keep my eyes open when I was pregnant with this one. Don't worry, it'll pass. And they're like, what? Wait, hold no, hold, time, 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 time out. Nobody's pregnant. Nobody's pregnant. So, you know, he's trying to explain. So, okay, let me pause here for a second. The reason why I was telling you all of that, because I want you to understand where her mental state is, because <clears throat> the same way I talked about the scene building towards something and adulting is the same way it's working here. True, I don't have a bunch of words to show you that because, you know, it, it's a caption and you like you can only put so much text on a on, on a scene. But, you know, it's still happening. And if you pay attention to see how things are going and what they're saying and like um, think about the emotions that are happening behind the scenes, like like behind their their eyes, you know, and like behind the words, you can kind of feel it. OK, so right now we're going up the roller coaster, you know, like we're not at the top yet, but, you know, we're we're nearing the top because, you know, drama is happening. Um, so so the first scene, this is where, you know. The roller coaster car leaves the station and you know it's just tick 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 ticking up you know and we're still tick 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 ticking up but we're nearing the top you know uh there, there, there there's chaos you know melly's like oh my god i'm no no i'm not pregnant and 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 and, and nick is trying to to explain and, and and mama's like if there's a grandbaby coming i need to know about it and you know poor levi is trying to calm her down and keep the peace he's like you know baby stop 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 meddling in their business and you know it's it's chaos going on right now she says i'm not pregnant she's like you, did you take a test no i take no tests so how do you know because i can't get pregnant right now <laughs> and nick is just embarrassed mama please leave it she says she's not pregnant leave it oh you take those pills <laughs> mama what Come on now, Vani, get out of the girl's personal life. <laughs> you know, there, there, there's just a lot going on right now. And so finally, Melanie is like, there's no grandkids. I promise I'm not pregnant. I can't be pregnant. There's no way possibly I could be pregnant. OK, that's all you had to say. No need to be testy about it. You know, Whew, goodness. All right. So <laughs> you see Levi's face. <laughs> Like, Lord, it's only been 10 minutes. <laughs> She's already starting, you know. So we're nearing the top of the roller coaster. But um, I broke this scene here because, you know, I think I was getting near to 10 anyway. Yeah, this is 10. And when we start the next one, oh, so not only is it because I was reaching 10? But if you think about this moment, like we had all that chaos before, you know, somebody was accused of being pregnant, she's not pregnant. And then, you know, one guy is like, oh my God, oh, make it stop, stop, you know, why? And this one's like, well, you know, like where's the baby at? <laughs> and the other one's like, you know, okay, you know, can we all just, it's chaos. And then, you know, so, this is like a very awkward turtle moment, you know? Um, Levi is embarrassed, Melanie is embarrassed, Nick is embarrassed, and Yvonne's just like, okay, y'all need to chill out. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not having any grandchildren right now, you know? So what happens when there's an awkward moment? There's silence after, you know, like everyone's like, okay. Go back to what I'm doing. So, you know, I imagine that they go to, they go back to eating again so you can hear like forks clanging on the plate and, you know, people taking sips and, you know, probably a lot of throat clearing. You know, again, like the first scene, there's not a whole lot going on that we need to show after this. So it's another good reason to break and go to the next thing. Plus, we just need to get out of this awkward moment. So awkward turtle stuff is going on. So finally, someone breaks the ice, and that is Levi. But he asks the taboo question. Of course, 
He doesn't know it's taboo. But, you know, uh, Melanie and Nick have been trying to, you know, decide this whole time when they're going to break the news. But, you know, they're both nervous and whatever. But then Levi goes ahead and brings it up. So it's like, oh, OK, here we go. Here we go. All right. Have you found the house yet? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we have actually. Nick is not ready. He's not ready. Oh, do tell. So, okay, here. Like you see his face. Well, well, you can't really see his face, but you know, like you see Melanie's face, but you can tell he's not like real happy about it right now. I mean, he's not mad, but you know, I mean, you can go back here, here and see what he looks like. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Very awkward turtle face. <laughs> So he's like, it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, you know, it's five bedrooms and bathrooms. So I imagine he's kind of rambling because he's still like, even though the moment is here where he has to break the news, he's still trying to, um, to drag it out. So he doesn't have to, you know, rain on their parade or whatever. So he's going on and on and on about this house. It's beautiful, it has five bedrooms, has a real nice yard, a giant pool, has all these views. Okay, he doesn't sound excited like I am, but you know. <laughs> he's just going on and on and on. And then he starts talking about our, their, their designer. Yeah, we're gonna get a contractor. We're gonna put it in the basement so we can do this and this and this and this and this. And oh my God, you know, it's gonna be great. <sighs> stalling, he's just stalling. So, you know. We're almost at the top of the roller coaster. But you know, Yvonne knows he's stalling and she don't care about the five bedrooms and the pool and the giant, the, it, and the giant pool in the basement. She just wants to know where they move into because that's her baby. Sounds lovely, where is it? <laughs> that's exactly how you should read that. Great, where is it? <laughs> dun, 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 we're at the top of the roller coaster. And he pauses for a long time, just like, you know, when you creep up to the top and they kind of leave you there for a second before they drop you, you know? Del Sol Valley. That's kind of how you have to read that, you know? Del Sol Valley, please don't hurt me, you know? <laughs> what? You know? <gasps> just like last time. <laughs> I love, like, I love ending scenes on expressions, especially like when they're shocked or mad or surprised or I don't know. I just love ending on expressions, but this is a cliffhanger. You're at the top of the roller coaster and you're dangling up there waiting for, you know, the, the, the operator to send you down again. So you, you guys are very familiar with how I do that. So there's no need for me to dwell there. <laughs> so let's go to the next thing. <clears throat> All right, so now we're coming down. Levi, who's always trying to save the moment. Oh, that's great. You know, always knew you guys would end up out there, blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, Nick is trying to converse with his father, but also keep his eye on his mother who's over there, you know, having heart palpitations and all oh, on my baby, you know. <laughs> I can't believe my baby's leaving. So, you know, they're all talking. He's like, oh, you know, you know, like, like, Millie, what do you do? Oh, you, you know, my music. I'm going to work with Bailey Kay. And, you know, he probably don't know who that is, but he knows she's a big star. And he's like, oh, that's great. You know, that's, that's big time. <laughs> we all go out there, do your thing. We'll be just fine. Ain't that right, Vonnie? You know, trying to get mama in the conversation because this is an exciting time for them. It's just hard to accept, you know, but everybody's going to be all right. Well, she doesn't say anything. And, you know, Nick is, is, is trying. He's like, Mama, are you going to say anything? Now, for a split second, she shows a little bit of humanity, a little bit of emotion. She's like, all I wanted was to spend time with you. Now you'll be gone. Good. And Nick it's like, that's not true. We'll be here for holidays and stuff. It's not like we're ever coming back. But that strikes a nerve with her because she, she takes issue with him not visiting home. So she recoils back to nasty Yvonne and she lashes out. 
and attacks him. She's like, yeah, you're right. It's, it's, it's not like you visit me anyway. What do I care where you live? Nasty, Yvonne. Don't be like that, mama. Anybody want pie? <laughs> and she gets up, she takes herself out of the situation, which is probably smart, you know? Like sometimes you just need to get out of the situation instead of staying there and just, just spewing all over everybody. But anyway, <clears throat> now I very well could have ended here, you know, cause we're, we're, we're quickly going down the roller coaster now. Well, actually I think we're back home. You know, we, we, we went up and we went down. Now we're back down. And, um, everyone is just kind of like having whiplash or something and just kind of catching their breath. Like, oh, what just happened? Oh my God, this, this, this went worse than we imagined. You know, why did we do this? Is this the right thing? You know, like questioning each other. Um, and I love Mel's face here. She's like, oh, you know. And, you know, I think this would have been a perfectly good scene to end on. But I kept going and I took one more picture because I wanted to. So this emphasizes, even though Yvonne is far away and, you know, she's out of focus, um, this scene is still very much focused on her, even though we can see their faces here and see how upset they are. But I wanted to make sure we capture Melanick's emotions and like, so, so we understand how they're feeling after the chaos. And as you can see, they're not doing too well. So this is what I was talking about when I said, you know, sometimes you just need to add a few pictures to go at the end, you know, just to kind of smooth out the scene and make it and, you know, just just close it out in a nice, smooth way instead of just, you know, just stopping it like, whoop, this is it. You know, sometimes you just need to add a little extra. Whew. And um, yeah, so that was a very intense scene. Whew. I'm just remembering it and it just makes me... <laughs> It makes me nervous when I think about it. 